This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, old boy Josh, and today we're taking a look at the Tokugawa RDA from Tenzu. But before we get into this review, I do need to take the time to remind you that we all have a part to play in the fight against Big Pharma, Big Tobacco, the FDA, and the deeming regulations that are looming over our heads. That means that if you're on social media, paint the best possible image of the vape community that you can. If you're a shop or a shop owner, then remind your customers they need to get in this fight if they want to keep vaping. And follow all your calls to action, including those to support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. We all have a part to play. So I'd seen some pictures of it on Instagram. My mouth hit the floor every time I saw them because some of the bills that I've seen put on this thing are just gorgeous. And the deck is just so interesting and different and unique. And you know me, I love the weird ones, man. I love the weird little critters that come, you know, in the form of just the most unique and innovative devices out there in the market and the amount of creativity that someone has to possess in order to think of something completely outside the box and different. Mm. I just, I love seeing something new that's not your usual tri-posed or quad-posed or velocity style deck. Anything like that makes me happy. This is definitely one of those times. I'd say the highlight of the piece is the deck, but you know, honestly, the sleeve is beautiful. The same design that's on the front here, this little bit of some kind of leaves on the front, the same kind of leaves on the side, the same design, gorgeous. It's got side airflow, and the side airflow is fully adjustable, very, very easy to adjust from the top cap, wonderful adjustment here. Super easy and it pops off with ease as well and along the top side you can't see it because I got a giant trip tip in here from just the tip. It says Tokugawa. Toku and then Gawa on the side. And bottom airflow. The bottom airflow has never leaked on me once. No once. Only once. Only when I was filling it and I didn't realize any juice was coming out so I just kept pouring and pouring and I'm like Huh? And then I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it leaked everywhere. But, you know, I really overfilled it. Like, I must have wasted, like, a good, I don't know, a lot. I wasted a lot of juice when I did that. Other than that, it's never leaked to me once. Not once. Not even, like, little sprays around the side or anything. It's just been a wonderful experience of bottom airflow. I think that's because of the way it is inside the chamber. You know, the bottom airflow, it's got coming up from a tube. Like a single tube in the middle coming right up at underneath where you're going to position your coils. Maybe it's the way that I wicked it. I haven't had any issue, but we'll get to that shortly. Very nicely put together, just in the outer construction of it. Now, I will mention it does not actually come with a drip tip adapter. What comes with this is this Delrin drip tip. It's not a standard 510 style drip tip, but what it is, is it's the same size as the Griffin, it's the same size as the Goon, it's the same size as the Kennedy. So pretty much anything that fits the Kennedy is gonna fit just fine in here. In addition, it also comes with this really, really comfortable trough cap. Incredibly comfortable. The only reason I'm not crazy about the trough cap, like not head over heels with it, is because you can't block off the side airflow with it. That's the only thing. And I feel like with that, let's pump it up. Like really pump it up. I'll give it an honest try because honestly, I feel like it's too open without being able to close off the side airflow holes. I want to be able to close off the side airflow holes and use this chuff. I'm gonna turn it up to 150. It's hitting at almost five volts there. Maybe it's not too bad if you pump it up a lot. They pump it up like way higher than you're normally vaping on it with just the regular drip tips. That's pretty good. It still has really good flavor while being incredibly cloudy. Man. I can't keep doing that, I'll never get through this review. <laughs> I'm seriously, I, I've been non-stop vaping this thing since it arrived. Um, I've got like a whole, I've got two boxes full of stuff I need to review, but the moment it came, I was like, I need to try this immediately. I was so excited about it. And I don't normally like drop what I'm doing to go write the dude that sends it to me and, and say it's amazing before I've even tried it. But I mean, I just looked at the deck and I looked at the construction and the design on it and the quality of the materials. I put everything down and I wrote the guy, I'm like, 
I can't wait to try this thing. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous, man. It was sent over by the manufacturer, and I, I, I can't thank him enough. It's beautiful. I love this thing. It's going to be one of those gush kind of reviews, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, so the highlight is definitely the deck. The deck is unique. It doesn't have a standard post, and it's not your standard postless kind of setup either, where the holes are in the bottom of the well, or the holes are, I don't know. Basically, it goes positive, negative, positive, negative. It's like a gap left open. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can build this. I've seen people install extension builds on here, single coil builds on there, dual coils on there, like shotgun style dual coils over the bottom airflow. I've seen people post these just gorgeous spiraling outward kind of, you know, chimney coils that go down into the well and come up above the airflow. Just so many beautiful, beautiful builds that you can put on this but you don't build it like you do a normal RDA. So what I did with my first build on here, which I've been rocking since I got it, and it's probably pretty close to time for a cotton change too, is I built a pair of fuse claptons and I split them and I also angled them downward. So it's basically like a little chimney that's being created over that bottom airflow and the chimney is directed right at the coils from other underneath coming up at them, coming up at the cotton. And what it creates is an incredibly warm, wet vape. Now, I'm not getting any spit back, believe it or not, and I'm not getting any juice into the airflow hole at the bottom. What it's producing is just excellent, excellent flavor. And I think the reason for that, the juice is basically collected in this cotton here and the airflow is passing up through this little pyramid I've created of these four coils here and through that bit of cotton at the top and it's carrying with it all the moisture of the vape and it's just warm and saturated and it's delicious, just purely delicious. With the uh, chuff cap, I do get a little bit of spit back, but I think that's mostly the build. Not with my own drip tip, and not with the drip tip that came with it. And I can drip right down straight through without thinking about it, and 
the wicking is collecting and redirecting that juice away from that airflow hole in the bottom so I can just drip into it carelessly. Mm, it's fantastic. It's definitely a flavor chasing RDA and it's a cloud chasing RDA in the same instance, which I think is one of the coolest things about it. There's not a whole lot that I don't like about this RDA, honestly. It's pretty much perfect for what it is. You can close off the side airflow and you have just bottom airflow. Now when I do that, I am gonna turn the heat down. I'm gonna turn it down to 105. Mm. Just dense, thick flavor. Oh man, that's yummy. And you can also close off the bottom completely. Now what I find is one negative, here you go. The bottom airflow is a little bit tough to get it to adjust. I feel like I have to take off the top cap and then adjust it that way. You can also take off the ring completely so it's completely open. If you do that, the yellow O-ring show through. I kind of like the, the yellow. Don't ask me why, it really matches the box really well. I dig that. I love packaging, man, I do. And if you so choose, you can also close off the bottom airflow completely by using this sort of adapter pin that screws into place and closes off the airflow tube from within the chamber. And then you can open up the top airflow, side airflow all the way. That's good, I don't get as much flavor that way. I get a lot more, more cloudage that way. But I like it with the bottom airflow the best. Bottom airflow and side airflow is where it's at, if you ask me. Side airflow closed off about halfway. Yeah, that's where it's at right there for me. I noticed that you have to lift your coils up kind of high in order for the side airflow to hit them the way I like to them. I like to direct my airflow right at my coils. It goes everywhere, a bunch of places for about 60 bucks. That's it, $60. 60 bucks for an authentic piece like this, with this quality, this level of creativity, this sort of unique sort of structure to it. And we're back, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Battery died in the camera. <laughs> anyway, I would definitely recommend picking one up if you like the versatility of a cloud chasing device or a flavor chasing device in one piece here that you can, that's both at the same time or both one and then the other. If you just are in love with the aesthetic of it the way I am, if you like a quality piece, I mean this has, it has weight to it, you know, it's, it's weighty, it's good metal, it's beautiful. Um, the engravings are really nice. Everything about it, I just it just oozes quality. I just you know I can't get over this device personally. This is going to be a standard in my rotation. I can tell you that now. There are very few devices of the ones that I've reviewed that I come to again and again and again and again. There are devices that I like. There are devices that I use every now and again, but there are very few staples that I use all the time that I always go back to over and over and over again, and I can count them on one hand. And you know them because I talk about them all the time. This won't be the last time you hear about this RDA from me. This won't be the last time that I use it. It won't be the last time I build on it. You're gonna see this one again and again. Anyway, that's the Tokugawa RDA from Tendu Vapor. You can pick one up at a bunch of different places. I'll have links in the description. And until next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors. <laughs>